baby, a straight high standard. You don't be. What's going on, guys? It's the girl Reza in the brr the the thing. If you watched my hair goals video, you guys saw that I had in some mini braids. They were cute while they lasted. And I'm low-key kind of mad that I took them out looking at the video because them things still look kind of fresh. But however, I'm about to take some new passport pictures, y'all. It was so hot. Yeah, I'm about to take some new passport pictures. My hair looked really frizzy off camera and my scalp was on fire. Like, itchy. I could have washed them and do over the front and the back but you know what I just I was ready to deep condition my hair if you missed the two most important steps of this whole process because I'm just rambling away the first thing first is to spritz my hair with some water I'm mostly focused on the ends because that's the oldest part of my hair and the easiest to get tangled the next step was to apply a very detangling product, well a product that aids in detangling to make slip easier. And that's exactly what that product did. It gave me a lot of slip, moisture, I was, I was like yo, you are bomb, like I was not expecting that. I installed my braids over the span of two days, so for them to take about an hour, an hour and a half to come out. That was that was good. We doing good in the hood, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. When taking out mini braids, one of the things that I have to pay attention to are my ends and how fast I unravel them because if I don't take my time, I can get a lot of breakage on my ends by taking them out too fast and not precise enough. That would definitely defeat the purpose, right? You do all that work putting in a low manipulation style and on the take down process, you just mess it all up, get a lot of breakage. No poo poo. <laughs> so take your time, take your time. As you can see, I work in sections, spray the section with water, mostly on my ends, apply the product and I thoroughly smooth the product into them cuticles by bang. Smooth it into those cuticles and then I start from the ends on the way to my roots and I unravel. Oh, I left these in for about seven days. Yeah, I think seven days is the number. And I re-moisturize my ends about every two days. I've been experimenting with different low manipulation styles. You guys know that I love wearing mini twists and I haven't worn mini braids in a while so I was testing it out to see if I would enjoy wearing them and how would that go. So I don't know yet. I think I might just wear these like once a month if I have the time. I was waiting for this clip. See, I went a little too fast and got my ends all tangled and I had to cut some out. This happened about twice. So, honesty hour. <laughs> All unraveled and if my scalp wasn't misbehaving, I could have just moisturized fully all of this hair and go about my day, continue, life goes on, but scalp has to be clean and I need to deep condition my hair. So, we are gonna make this deep conditioner or not? Nah. Let's get it! See, I told y'all. <laughs> You guys already know, avocado is base. So in that mixture was avocado and honey and water. Blend it all together. The next step is to add your favorite deep conditioner or a deep conditioner that you know means a lot of work because it ain't This is it. neither of the above. I actually like this one. It's decent. It do to do. I added about three fat chunks and I mixed it all together. Here comes my baby. I'm La Poda. What are you saying? I'll have two spoons of you please. This is my first time interacting with Grammy but it yields great benefits. We're gonna add one spoon of that to the mix. Finally meeting Cassia which has amazing strengthening properties. Big man baba suit oil coming through. Very moisturizing, one of my favorite oils for my deep conditioners. And BAM! We got some organic almond butter. <laughs> this is how much I love y'all. It was too dark to film in the bathroom and I couldn't set up my lighting in there. So I had to apply the product out of the shower. 
which was very messy. I wanted you guys to see how the treatment applied, how easy it was for me to detangle. Well, lies. It wasn't that easy because I should have detangled my hair before I went into the shower. So, yeah. Besides the point, the mixture was very softening, softening, that word. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I applied the treatment all over in sections, sections of four, starting with the back section, then that front section, then I'll do the same thing on the other side you guys saw me use a detangling comb I honestly didn't use much of it I don't know why I used it or attempted to use it but I did kind of use it you know but I mostly finger detangled because <laughs> but here I go using it you know you, you you get what I'm trying to say like it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't needed honestly <laughs> not that me using it or not is important you know what next clip <laughs> it's a new year but we're still not wasting shit in 2019 scoop it all up honey can we talk about the shine in that bun let it loose boo Ooh, yes boo definition call softness Yes, what else we naming? Hit you with the shine one more time. <laughs> Thickness, fullness, juiciness. Y'all, my hair felt like clouds. Pillow soft. It was very strong. I felt so much elasticity. Didn't feel fragile. It felt so moisturized. Like, woo! If you could go on and on, I would. I really love adding Ayurveda powders into my routine, into my regimen because it takes my hair to the next level, aids in a lot of strength and it grows and the overall quality of my hair. It was after 11 at night and it was a long day guys, a long day but I was not about to do my whole moisturizing routine so I added back that same moisturizing detangling product and that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.